The Team America Rocketry Challenge is the largest student rocketry competition in the world. Now in its 13th year, TARC has inspired more than 60,000 students since its inception in 2002. What started as a one-time celebration of the centennial of flight has evolved into a tried and true STEM education program that has inspired countless young people to further pursue their studies and even careers in science, technology, engineering, and math-related fields. TARC is important to the aerospace and defense industry because this is all about training the next generation of talent. Kids on this field are the people who are going to be designing the spacecraft, the commercial airliners, the unmanned airplanes. They'll be the first astronauts to go to Mars. And what we're trying to do is to bring as many kids and as much diversity into that field as possible. Structured to emulate the aerospace industry's engineering design process, TARC challenges student teams to design and build a model rocket that can meet specific height and flight duration parameters. To encourage ingenuity and creativity, students are faced with new design and flight requirements each year. Our rocket has to fly to an altitude of 800 feet while carrying an egg which cannot crack upon re-entry to the Earth. It has to be under 650 grams. And a rocket has to come down between 46 to 48 seconds. So all the rocketeers here, we all have to go through the same struggle, the toil, the sweat, everything to make sure that we follow the criteria and we hit the mark as it is. Scores were determined by how close the rockets came to the required height and time. Damaged eggs disqualified flights. This year, nearly 700 teams from 48 states, the District of Columbia, Puerto Rico, and the U.S. Virgin Islands competed for their chance to attend the national finals. After months of rocketry design, test flights, and qualification launches, the top 100 teams traveled to Virginia to face off against one another to claim the gold. Generating more than 200 original news stories in 2015, TARC continues to build upon its outreach efforts by having students engage with local news stations about the value of the competition and other STEM-related programs. A huge accomplishment for TARC this year was our very own Team Caribbean Splash from the U.S. Virgin Islands being invited to the White House Science Fair to exhibit their rockets for President Obama. This local outreach was again strengthened as AIA hosted the fourth annual Rockets on the Hill event. This event gave teams the opportunity to engage with leaders from the aerospace industry and their members of Congress to highlight the need for increased STEM education awareness and funding. The 2015 champions show that where there's a will, there's a way. The RCS Engineers TARC team from Russellville, Alabama achieved an impressive combined score of 16.16, less than half of the second place team's total score. Thanks to the generosity of this year's sponsors, especially Raytheon, Lockheed Martin, and Talus USA, the teams were competing for more than $100,000 in prizes and scholarships. In addition to their winnings, the RCS engineers will travel to Paris this June, courtesy of Raytheon Company, to represent the United States in an international fly-off at the Paris Air Show against teams from the UK and France. As the 2015 TARC season draws to a close, teams are already gearing up for the 2016 competition. We've already seen TARC alumni go on to great careers in our industry. We have high hopes that this year's participants and future rocketeers will become tomorrow's generation of engineers, scientists, and astronauts. Team America Rocketry Challenge.